can teachers only okay be the ones asking questions? Can it serve beyond its declared functions? And also, okay, how does it, this okay work to enhance reading? And then, of course, interactions. And what can we do, okay, to promote the learner autonomy? And finally, can we give the ownership back to the learners? So, in fact, when I okay, when I talked about the thought question activity, it's really okay, not about teachers asking students questions. It's about okay, students generate their own questions based on reading assignment. I bet many teachers have experience that is that you do, okay, you assign your students reading, right? And then you say, okay, we're gonna have a discussion next week, right? And what happens? Students come back and say, oh, I lost my textbook. Or I forgot to do the reading. Oh, I, I, I had to take my dog, okay, to see a pet, uh, you know, a doctor, okay, something like that. All kinds of excuses. However, okay, this thought question activity can help you solve this problem because it's going to be required and it's not really okay. Well, it's a little bit demanding. However, okay, you help students develop this habit of asking questions. So this.